Alright, what is going on everybody? HC Jammers here, back with another Street Fighter 5 video. And in today's video, uh, this has been uh, done via, you know, requests or public demand. Uh, I want to say it's the latter. People have been demanding more than requesting. But it's going to be another matchup knowledge video. But this time, uh, revolving around G, the newly uh, added character or additional character to the Street Fighter 5 roster. Uh, we're going to be looking into more specifically how his V skill uh, affects Rainbow Mika in this particular matchup. So I guess you could say this is very similar to the uh, matchup knowledge video I did previously uh, based on Cody and how his V skill affects Rainbow Mika. Um, so if you want to go and check that out, if you haven't checked that out and you want to go check it out, I'll leave the video link in the description below. So you can check that out at your own volition. But yeah, today we're going to be focusing on G and how his V skill, the G barrier, affects Rainbow Mika. So uh, before we get into the video, I just want to say first and foremost, uh, G came out like along with Sagat. They came out two or three weeks ago. So uh, the reason I was uh, kind of reluctant to do a video on this guy straight away is because I don't know much about him, and there's not enough uh, there's not enough solid or concrete G information for me to go off. And I haven't had much time in training mode because I've been playing other games and whatnot. But uh, yeah, if whatever I do say in this video it is it does appear to be correct, then please by all means use it and add it to your own matchup knowledge notes and continue on from there and developing them. If it's wrong, like I said, the character hasn't been out for a long, so things are still developing and still people need to get things correct. So I'm just putting that whole quote unquote disclaimer thing out there so you guys can bear with me. But yeah, without further ado, let me stop jabbering on and let me just double check we are all good to go. Yes, we are. So. Like I said, uh, to recite the same lines, uh, we're going to be looking at how G's V skill, his G barrier, affects Rainbow Mika in this matchup. Now, for those of you who don't know what G barrier looks like, it looks like this. So you got the barrier going around. Aesthetic wise, look, uh, aesthetic wise, it looks pretty cool. And, you know, self explanatory, a barrier is supposed to cover the entire body, or, you know, just, just supposed to uh, um, cover the whole. The person that's using the barrier, the machine that's using the barrier, etc, etc, whatever. So, it works, right? Now, as I stated in previous videos before, uh, what you want to do is when you, when a new character comes out or any character in a fighting game, if it has or if they have a tool that can comfortably stop your main character from uh, approaching you, so it kind of makes them have to think about how to approach you instead of like being brainless on offense, then it, you've already caused a very big problem for them. So basically what I'm saying is in layman terms, if you're, if the tool has great utility and stops their comfortable approaches, you're, that's a very detrimental tool to them. And G's V skill, this, the V, uh, the G barrier is actually very detrimental to Mika. So let's just get on with this straight away. Now the first recording I should have, and I always say this to Rainbow Mika players as well, when you're recording things or practicing against Mika or trying to find out knowledge, one of your recordings should be against her drop kick because that is one of her commonly used tools. And yes, that is the drop kick. So first and foremost, does the barrier stop the drop kick? It can do, and it actually builds G a fairly bit of a V meter, and it is connecting can hit. I don't think the damage parameters change, but it's building him a fairly decent amount of V meter. But um, yeah, regarding the drop kick, you have to use the V skill, or G players will have to use the V skill relatively early, because if you try and react to the drop kick with V skill, you will get crush countered, as you're seeing right here. Uh, this is a 50-50. I wouldn't say it's completely ill-advised, uh, Ill but I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say, oh yeah, this is not the go-to answer because you do get, you do get a chunk of V meter from this. It's mad tempting to use to get a chunk of V meter, but it's highly risky as well. Also, you got to remember the V skill is mad active. Uh, it's crazy active. I don't know the frame specifically, but it is active for quite a while. Um, also, the V skill can be baited via a drop kick because if Mika does the non-charge version she should be able to punish with EX Peach so that department is already covered so uh, G barrier can be used against the drop kick but just be careful uh, or like if the if the G players do see you using that the fully charged uh, drop kick and they use the barrier next time just bait them with the charge drop kick and punish them with EX Peach or maybe something else maybe a jump in might be able to catch them but they might be able to block in time so uh, the next thing is can it stop jump ins? Now, I can't remember what recording I have of the jump in. It should be this one. Okay, so I've got Dive Bomb. Now, like I said, uh, G Barrier is like insanely active. So when Mika jumps, no matter if it's uh, jumping Hard Punch, jumping Light Kick, or even Dive Bomb, the G Barrier should be super effective against this. Yes, well, I'm saying it Pokemon style, super effective. So as you can see, 
Again, the V skill. Oh, okay. Done it a bit too early there. The V skill is stopping the dive bomb. So if you try to anti-air with this, uh, Tamika's regular jump times are jumping fierce and a jumping light kick and they went for the dive bomb, you can catch them. Uh, let's see if I've got another recording. I should have it here. Let's double check. That is, yes. So that's jump light kick. All right, let's see. If I get this right, the correct timing, of course. Yes, the G barrier should stop the cross-up attempt. Uh, this is if the Mika players just want to haphazardly jump. Oh, look, I even got a trade there. So you might be able to get a follow-up from that, actually. So that's interesting. Uh, maybe not from there, but yeah, the G barrier stops all of Mika's potent jump-ins or the way she wants to change her jump arc, etc, etc. So as you can see, the pattern is following pretty much the same path as uh, what happened with Cody's V skill there. Uh, this is interesting because as well, or oh, don't also forget, uh, G can do his V skill in the air as well. I don't think that's going to be much of an issue to Rainbow Mika because if she's going to anti-air this guy, it will be probably with EX wingless airplane or regular wing, uh, wingless airplane. Probably EX is better, but uh, yeah, you, you'll get the idea. But um, yeah, it's super important to know that the, the G barrier is stopping drop kick and it's stopping the jump ins as well. Now, if I turn on, sorry, not this, if I turn on the V meter. Now, uh, some people might be wondering, actually, before I get onto this part, some people might be wondering, so, Jammers, can the V-Skill be used the same way as it was used when you showed us uh, how Cody can interrupt uh, Mika's frame traps or the guessing game with the V-Skill? So we're going to try and find out now. This is something I haven't really checked yet. I, I kind of looked at it once and then didn't do it again. Let's do that. That, that should do it. If I get this to block, that should be correct. Uh, let's see. And then dash, dash, jab, come on, grab. All right, so hopefully this is right. Okay, so if we get this and do the V-Skill, it shouldn't work. Yeah, so you can't use the V-Skill in this sense of trying to interrupt frame traps because it's too slow on startup. Uh, it hasn't got any throw invincible or any invincibility properties. So you can't use the V-Skill in that regard. So if you were thinking you could use it or G-Players were thinking they can do it like that, uh, take it out of your mind, perish the thought because it doesn't work. Um, it's not as good as Cody's V-Skill because this has other great utilities as well. Um, move on to the next part which is going to be the V-Skill uh, power-up, the more prevalent V-Skill, uh, when G is in his maximum president here. So basically, it's the V-Skill that turns into a fireball. Now, you have to be wor wary about this and you have to respect it in general because it covers a decent portion of the screen. That's a gigantic fireball and it's kind of slowly moving. It does drain the meter, but uh, yeah, you've got to respect it in most aspects now what tends to happen is now if i took this on to guard let's do guard all let's do guard all now i should have ex peach on here right so we're gonna use ex peach as the prime example because what mika players like to do on defense uh is if they can use ex peach on defense then they can work from there how to improve the defense or how to break through certain strings uh, uh pressure gaps or whatever etc you get the idea now when you're fighting a G, you usually see, uh, you know, they try to get you with a cheeky G smash under or maybe even a, a cheeky blaze kick or something like that. They try to do all this stuff to catch off guard and convert it into absurd amount of damage because G has actually got a high damage output. It's pretty insane. Now, uh, one thing you have to remember as well is the special moves are cancelable into themselves or the V skill. So, as you can see there... Uh, if I went to do G smash under, it gets punished because it's minus eight on block. Obviously, EXP, you can get a bit punished than that. However, if I tried to do a smash under into V skill, there actually is a gap in the string, but EX shooting peach does not interrupt that gap because the gap's just not big enough. As you can see, Mika's getting the reversal timing, but she's also getting counting it. And like I said, the gap's not big enough. So you have to take that out of your mind. So in that situation, or in this situation in particular, you have to respect when G does uh, G smash under the dash low into his V skill. Probably the best way out of that is to do either Peach Assault or V Reversal if you really don't want to deal with it. I actually don't think I have uh, a recording of Peach Assault. Actually, I may have. I may have. Hold on. Don't worry. Let's see. I've got Reversal V Trigger. So we're going to see if that works instead. I think you can actually interrupt the gap here. But yeah. Okay. So you get a trade. You get a trade scenario V trigger one. That's a raw hundred damage. But again, that's a situation that it, it's realistic. Don't get me wrong, it's realistic, but it's uh, 
what's the word I'm looking for? It's ill-advised, shall I say, because you're wasting V-Trigger in that particular scenario. Unless it's going to kill G, I wouldn't really try and do that. Uh, let's see, if he does maybe the Blaze Kick into in the V-Skill, yeah, it's a true string from there. Uh, you will get, actually, let me revert back to uh, EX Shooting Peach. So another thing that G players will do as well, they can even do it into Smash Over and then do that as well. So don't forget the dash straights. Should we do, okay, let's call it the dash uppers or the dash uh, lows, right? The smash overs or the smash unders. They can be cancelled to V skill and Mika has to respect them regardless. If G does uh, maybe a blaze kick or a spin kick from there and then tries to cancel to V skill because that is a possibility, he can do that. Uh, if he tries to do that, EX Shooting Peach can catch it from there. That's from like max distance though. That's when a, a tremendous gap is left. If he does it from something like here, then I don't think that's possible. Let's see if I can do it from this string here. One, actually, I don't know if I can do it on hit. I don't even know. On block, sorry. Can you do it? No, okay. Yeah, there's gaps in between. All right, so there's gaps in between, but um, that's something completely different. We're looking at the V skill here. So, yeah, there's certain ranges you can use e EX Shooting Peach to deal with the V skill, but his V skill in V Trigger Maximum President, it's pretty annoying to deal with and you'd have to be very careful sorry i'm learning i'm doing this as i go along i'm learning as i go along because look if i take the guard off actually let's see how many hits v skill uh g barrier is so that's like what one hit so there's ways you, you might be able to actually punch through it to be fair so if we say uh let's try and get a recording so again i'm learning i'm learning this as i go along uh, e extreme peak we're gonna do that right i'm gonna block so if it's a one hitting uh, fireball, what happens is you do something like that, actually, because the barrier comes out first. So you probably won't be able to catch it. So that's interesting. I probably wouldn't advise you to try and punch through this. Uh, let's see. Let's give myself an extended timer. Let's try this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you can punch through the fireball. But I, I probably wouldn't advise this either because it's probably not worth it. You can probably try and catch G as he's starting up. Like, if you can catch G starting up, uh, uh, sorry, the V skill start up of the G barrier, you may be able to get something pretty interesting from there. I do remember that um, Mojo, a very competent, very strong Mika player from the US, uh, he put up some tech against the barrier and some other moves as well on his Twitter account, so if I can find the tweet, I'll leave the link to that in the description below. But like I said, this is a matchup where the Mika players are still studying and there's a lot of flexibility behind it because Maximum President is pretty annoying to deal with, but more so, like I said, the point of this video was to show you uh, areas that the G barrier, G's V skill, can be problematic to Rainbow Mika. And let us not forget, when this V skill does hit, um, he is building V meter on block. If you do block the uh, the V skill, let's just double check before we close out this video. It's minus 17. It's minus 17 when he's not in V trigger. It's minus two when he's in V trigger. So those are that's important. Uh, sorry, that's imperative information as well. The frame data behind it. Minus 17 on uh, when he's not in V trigger one, and it's minus two when he is in V trigger one. So yeah, it's um. It's pretty interesting stuff. Uh, I'll leave uh, different, or oh, sorry, I'll leave more uh, intricate notes in the description below if I find the time to do them. But yeah, I know people were demanding this, uh, and I had other other videos lined up, but I just pushed this at the front just to show you guys that I do know a little bit, but I don't know as much as you think I do because. I haven't had much time to actually sit down and go through the Mika and G matchup, but hopefully you guys have found this uh, insightful and you guys can work off of this or do some other research regarding this matchup yourself. But trust me, V skill is not the only problematic thing in this matchup, but it's one of them. So uh, keep it in mind. But yeah, uh, if you guys did enjoy the video and you haven't subscribed to the channel, the uh, subscription button is there. If you don't want to subscribe, that is completely fine. Uh, we can all go about our day. My Twitter and my Twitch are in the link, or sorry, in the description below. If you if you got any questions about Mika or just matchups in general or whatnot, then you can hit me up on my Twitter. That's probably the best way to get a hold of me. And uh, yeah, guys, that is going to be it for this video. Apologies for it being uh, a lengthy one at that. And my knowledge is a bit all over the place. Uh, a bit hazy because again i'm unfamiliar with this matchup and we're still learning it here but yes this has been your boy hc jammers hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something and i'll see you guys on the next street 55 videos so until then take care and enjoy the rest of your day